Do electric vehicles make sense for today's Canadian drivers? Is our country ready for large numbers of electric vehicles on our roads? The answer to both these questions is a resounding yes. We tend to think of electric vehicles as cars of the future, but they've actually been with us since the early days of the automotive industry. And now, thanks to today's technological innovations, electric vehicles are ready for Canadian roads. Some people think that electric vehicles will never catch on. They say they can't drive very far. They're too small. There's nowhere to plug them in. But the truth is, things have changed and these opinions need to change too. Today's battery electric vehicles can drive 100 to 200 kilometers without plugging in. And they can recharge by plugging into a standard household outlet. Without a doubt, the electric car is here to stay, and for many great reasons. Perhaps the greatest is that they make sense for the planet, helping to reduce the impact transportation has on the environment. The traditional internal combustion engine is powerful and convenient, but burning fossil fuel comes at an environmental price. Did you know that nearly 27% of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions come from transportation, with 12% coming from cars and light trucks? And it's not just greenhouse gases. Cars and trucks also contribute to air pollution. Hybrid electric vehicles help reduce emissions, and fully electric vehicles produce zero tailpipe emissions. In fact, they don't even have tailpipes. So electric vehicles are positive for the environment. But how do you know if they're right for you? You may be wondering what the difference is between a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid when both have internal combustion and electric motors. A hybrid usually uses mostly the gasoline engine. The electric motor gives a boost during peak power demands and can run the car at low speeds and over short distances. A plug-in hybrid is the reverse. It runs off the electric motor as much as possible and uses the gas engine only as a backup. plug-in hybrid electric vehicle is the best of both worlds because you have an electric engine and you also have a gas engine. I commute to and from work and I can commute in this vehicle in fully electric mode. It offers me a great opportunity for fuel consumption savings as well as it's great for the environment. When I need to take a business trip, this vehicle offers me the gas engine mode and so therefore I can take those long distance drives uh, feeling very confident that I won't need to plug in this vehicle while on my trip. I personally really like this car. The handling of it is fantastic. It's quiet while you're in electric mode. This is a fantastic vehicle. And then there are battery electric vehicles, which are fully electric with no gas engine. Al Steidl is one of the first people in Canada to get behind the wheel of one of these innovative machines. What I love about this car is that it's zero emissions. It's a lot of fun driving and it's great for the environment. When this car is fully charged, I can travel well over 100 kilometers, which is more than ample for most commuters. To charge this car, I've got three options. I can plug it into a 110 volt circuit, and it takes about seven to eight hours. I can plug it into a 220 circuit, which is similar to your dryer circuit in your house, and it takes three to four hours. Or I can plug it into the fast charger, and it takes only 30 minutes. Now the top speed for this car is approximately 130 kilometers, and it keeps up with traffic no problem. Yeah, there's a lot of people that stop and give me the thumbs up when I'm driving. It creates a lot of excitement. Electric vehicles meet the driving needs of many different lifestyles, making them a good fit for many Canadians. But is Canada ready to support large numbers of electric vehicles on our roads? To make sure that it is, utility providers, municipalities and others are working together to prepare the country's power infrastructure. Utilities across the country like BC Hydro, Manitoba Hydro, Ontario Power Generation, and Hydro-Quebec are taking the lead, planning the support infrastructure for vehicle charging, whether it's at home or on the go. For example, along the proposed Green Highway, which will see charging stations built throughout British Columbia and beyond. The key to success? Partnerships such as Transport Canada's Eco Technology for Vehicles program, which are helping lead the way by supporting the safe and quick introduction of new vehicle technologies in Canada. And initiatives like the Electric Vehicle Technology Roadmap, 
which bring together industry, government, and academia to discuss the requirements and milestones for advancing electric vehicles in Canada. With an electric vehicle for many lifestyles, new technologies, and creative partnerships paving the way, Canada is on its way towards a whole new driving future. And that future isn't down the road, it's just around the corner.